okay now the rdlc file is ready let's go to the farm designer and uh, choosing the property and changing the text as Titles report. Um, from the toolbox under the data section, I am uh, dropping the report viewer to the form. The control is uh, dropped here. I'm recessing it. So this is the control dropped in the form. First, let us uh, expand the form uh, large enough to display the report in it. So I'm providing uh, 8,700 white. Here you can see when you are dragging the form. Mm. Okay. So this is the report we were control. So I am accessing the property again. And I will set the dot property for this uh, control. In the dock property, I am specifying occupy the entire container area, that means the entire farm area. Now you can see how the control occupies the farm. This is the top left corner. So once you drop the report viewer control, you should associate this control with the RDLC file that we already created. We saw creating the RDLC file in the step 2 of the video. Uh, once I click this uh, small uh, arrow button on the top right corner of the report viewer control, you will see report viewer task. Uh, in the choose report, when I click the drop down arrow, I can able to see the RDLC file that we saved. Report EX is the project. RPT titles is the report template that I added in the previous video. I am selecting that here now. So once I select that, uh, uh, we are ready to display the report now. If you see the form, uh, this is associated to the uh, three components here. So before running the report, uh, save the project. Then go ahead and uh, build the solution. We will be succeeded. Now we will display the report. So it says a report is being generated. So if you see the title, ID, and type. The price may be in the right side. All are displayed. And uh, this is the footer section. 
and in the detail section uh, the records are displayed so this is how we display the simple report in uh, .NET Framework. If you see the end of report is appearing only once. This is the report footer. These are all the report title. And this is in the footer.